Hi, I'm David Derrick, head of story for an upcoming feature film at Walt Disney Animation Studios. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to draw a lion. And when you're done drawing your lion, I want you to share it with your neighbors by putting it somewhere where they can see, the balcony, mailbox, your front door, wherever, to participate in National Geographic's Earth Day Neighborhood Safari. And don't forget to snap a photo of your creation and share it using the hashtag NatGeoEarthDay at home. I can't wait to see your drawings. Okay, let's draw a lion. Thank you for joining me. I am only going to use a Sharpie, um, but I'm gonna draw slow and I hope you guys can follow along. Use whatever drawing tool you are most comfortable with. A pencil, a marker, charcoal. So when you draw a lion, the first thing I usually start with is the head. So I will try to feel out where the top of that head will be. And I'll kind of lightly draw a rough shape. And down the middle of that lion will be a line. It was right down the middle of their forehead, dividing it nicely. And then right below it, you'll have the eye and you have a big mark right here to look for. It's called the zygomatic arch. And they have nice big muscles right there above their eyes. And lions are amazing creatures, very powerful, very stunning, very beautiful. And it's really a treat to draw them with you guys. I have a nose, almost shaped like a bird flying away, like these are wings. <laughs> and when I draw, I try to imagine what's going on underneath. There's a big mouth full of teeth. So you want to make sure that that mouth feels like it has kind of some roundness to it. And you can put the the whisker spots so they kind of curve around. Now lions, um, they have they have little black lips that you know sometimes a lot of people don't draw or notice. But then at the corner they have very loose gums and lips that hang down. That means they can open their mouths really wide. It can stretch. And then the chin right there. Now I'm going to look for the zygomatic arch right here. It's going to show me where it is. And then where the ears go up here, there are two parts to the ear. There's a little curve here and then a second bigger kind of curve shape there that folds. And then here we do the ear kind of facing the other way so we won't see that fold. And then there's hair that radiates from the inside outwards like that. And then we'll kind of draw a light line back here. And I'm going to try to feel the backbone like that. Now think about shapes when you draw. Try to think in volumes. Even though it's flat, try to think in two and three dimensions. So yeah, I try to imagine kind of the shape of a tombstone right here. And that's where the shoulder blade right here is. And then uh, the humerus that goes down right here, boom. And that will make kind of a little bump right there where their chest is. And then you'll have their elbow right here. And from the elbow, go down to the wrist. And lions, like your cat at home, will have five digits in the front. And they will have four digits in the back. Lions are what you call digitigrades, meaning they walk on their toes. We are different. We are called plantigrades. That means we walk on kind of the palms of our feet. So I have the nice shape of the spine. I have a nice shape right here for the rib cage. And I'm thinking about the pelvis, the hips. And then from the hips, you have the long femur that goes down right here to the kneecap. And a lot of people don't realize that the kneecap is all the way up here. 
and that kneecap will have a little bump and it will go back in space like that to the ankle and then really to the bottom of the foot. That's what those bones are right there. And then, like I said before, they're walking on their toes. So they have four toes in the back and they have five toes in the front, like I said. I'm drawing the opposite leg on the other side. Make sure the tail feels like it comes right off of the spine, because it does. And the tail is full of bones and muscle, so it's it's not floppy. It, it has some some mass to it. And then at the end, there's a nice big tuft of hair at the end of their tail. So I mentioned before that this is a male lion. I haven't drawn his mane yet. I wanted to show you his entire body. So we draw a mane kind of right around, like a ring, right around his face. And I won't worry about drawing all of the hair. I'll kind of rough in his shape, and then on the edges, I will indicate the hair. Then there'll be a second layer that will kind of radiate out, and that will build on top of the other layer. Right now I'm just drawing in a little more detail on that mane, a little more detail on the face. Now, like your house cat, lions have whiskers. So don't forget to kind of indicate those. Not quite a cat without them. And then if you have maybe some watercolor or some crayons or some pastels, you can add a little bit of color to your lion. And lions are, are very simple in their coloration. It's kind of a beautiful yellow tawny color. So I'm taking just some basic watercolor and I'm gonna put a basic tawny coat on him. I'm just using one brush, but if you have different brushes, you can use those too. I'm just trying to indicate some of the form that we were talking about, not trying to flatten it out, but maybe even accentuate it. And a lot of times they'll have kind of darker hair on their outer mane, so I'm going to kind of put just a darker brown right there. And kind of use that to shade all the hair. Lions really are majestic. Um, 
I've had the good opportunity to draw them in the wild and at zoos. And every time I do get to see them in the wild or even at a zoo, it, they do take my breath away. And they are wonderful, amazing creatures that deserve our respect and uh, protection. And I hope that um, in the way we um, plan for the future and treat wild animals in wild places that we, we think about important animals like the lion. So thank you for joining me. I had a lot of fun drawing with you today, and I hope that everyone we will enjoy wildlife too. Thank you so much.